Tick and I have every reason to believe that we'll be attacked tonight. And our two vulnerable spots are that boat and that house. components and every component plays a different role so basically where I'm gonna start is just you know look it over try to get an idea of what's missing and then do my best get the boat going You want to come over here for good luck? It's better work, no pressure. If the engine doesn't start, we're screwed. Okay. especially in these conditions, uh, was a huge accomplishment to me. And to actually see how happy everybody else is around me and just how psyched they are that it's running and it's working. All right, guys, push! We want this in the water! We basically took a boat and a plane and made an airboat. Oh, we got it? This dysfunctional family came together and worked as a, a very strong unit to get this boat done. It really took every one of us to put differences aside and just to bear down and do what it took to get this thing in the water. I'm just waiting on George to finish up the rudder system. This is the last bolt uh, for the linkage. Yeah, that's plenty to steer. For their last meal in the compound, Tick stews meat caught in the bayou two days ago. This is hideous. Tick caught nutria and brought it back from the bayou. And the meat smells like it's gone rotten. I mean, it was unbelievable how bad the meat was smelling. I'm cutting up these premature oranges try to kill that taste of that rotten meat. Can't make it worse. Nope. Nice, oh, smells like turds. You don't want any coop? No, thank you. I think definitely yeah. the people who are going out 
on that raid, I you need as it. much energy as possible. This is you go. literally the nastiest thing I've ever put in my mouth. Quite horrible. But I need something. Seriously? I really hope <laughs> I'm not even kidding. All I taste is salt. The flies don't even want it. But the, the goal take is to go in, um, hit them, get the supplies, and out without them even know, knowing you're there? Correct. That's our goal. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean that's going to happen. It probably won't happen. We're probably going to have a little bit of conflict. Mm -hmm. I want to keep Coop, Cyan, George with me. Um, going with me, we have Reno, we have Jim, Becca. We're going to approach from here, the four of us. We're going to split into two groups. You guys are going to be the distraction. So it's your job to keep them distracted while we get the food. Yep. You guys are going to peel out so they can see you, but you're going to spread them thin. The eight to ten people will be coming around. Becca and I will come in and take all the food. Jim, Becca. OK, we got three and a half minutes before we're ready to roll. Make sure you pee and get ready to go. We'll be ready to kick some ass. My main hopes for this raid are to get food, get some sort of sense of satisfaction. I mean, it's going to feel good, man. We've been taken and beaten, and, you know, I just want to get back. Wow. Game time. I'm excited, but I'm kind of nervous, too, because this is the first time we've gone out to raid someone else's camp. This is the first time we're playing offense. All right, here we go. Cool. See you guys in a little bit. I will see you soon. OK, man. Take it slow. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. Don't get super close. Make sure you have about five feet between you. Normally, before going into a fight or combat, I get really, really calm. You know, if you go in super amped up, it doesn't do anybody good. They harass us, they steal from us, they injure us. It's time to make them maybe think twice about coming around and playing with us again. That's the watchtower. They have one guy in the watchtower. We're going to go ahead and move one at a time. I'm coming behind this 18-wheeler thing. The next person's going to take this position, and we're just going to leapfrog up.
went well. We got 15 gallons of fuel, and we got, I don't know, 10, 15 cans of food. Oh, my God. Look at all this. Oh. They're back. You're happy that everybody's there. And then they open up the backpacks, and you see all these cans. And to me, cans are a blessing because you just open the damn things up, and you can eat. I'm just glad you guys all made it back. Yeah. 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 Now we got to get it yeah. out of here. We have, we have to get we all of us out of here now. Let's just get ready to go. You know, leaving this place, we've uh, we've invested a lot of time in a lot of different projects, and it's going to be sad to uh, leave them behind. But I just want to get the hell out of here. You know, we've we've built a lot here, but in looking at it now, for us to to leave, it wasn't really even in question. You know, we were we were ready to leave. Inside. We got four, six. Two, four, six. How many in the back? So it's about nine people. The back one's missing one person on the on the passenger side. They got their masks on. They don't have gloves on. I'm thinking Vopa. Holy crap! It's Vopa. What the hell is going on here? I mean, we are on the boat. We're packed and we're ready to go. And Vopa drives up in SUVs. What the? F after a major catastrophe, government aid can be sporadic and unpredictable. This happened during Hurricane Katrina when many relief efforts were insufficient or delayed. Hey, Jim, talk! Jim, talk! When the two Vopa trucks show up, I fall back a little bit into a, a position to where I can't really be seen, but I can see what's going on. Jim! Jim! First thing Reno starts doing is yelling my name. And I'm like, why don't you give him my social security number too while you're at it? Reno! Reno, don't worry about it! Jim is nuts. The truck's coming, he's gone. He couldn't have been further away from us. I don't know what his plans on protecting us were, but his weapon and his shield were sitting right by his chair. You want to talk to him? I just don't know about walking up to it. Can I help you? Yeah. What can I do for you? I'm from the Viral Outbreak Protection Agency. I have room for two people to take in my truck to a permanent settlement. Two people only. Decide amongst yourselves who it will be. How much time do we have to make that decision? Quickly. OK. If, if you can stay over there, that'd be great. I got this. Can you watch him? No. No, I don't trust Boba. Bastards. Screw me once, shame on you. Screw me twice, shame on me. I'd rather walk. I'll just wait it out. All right. Listen to me very closely. There are people. 